Welcome to IDB, everyone. It is Andrew here. ARK is soon to launch on iOS 11, and it'll run on any iOS device with an A9 or A10 processor and above with iOS 11. In this video, we're going to go hands-on with Apple's demo application, quickly show you how to get up and running on your device with Apple's developer application, and of course, finish it off with some great developer examples from some prominent names and devs that you're soon going to see after iOS 11 launches. Now to test this out for yourself, you do need to be a part of Apple's developer program. You need to be a developer to more or less try this out, which isn't really that hard to do. But once you do have it, follow the link below in the description to take you to Apple's website and download the ARKit demo app. It is an Xcode project, which means you're going to need the latest developer version of Xcode and, of course, an iOS 11 device. So you do need quite a few things to try this out, but a lot of people, I'm sure, will have these. Once you have the app downloaded, Xcode installed, and an iOS 11 device, you're going to simply open up that project in the beta version of Xcode. You have to make one quick switch, which is changing that signing right there, that team. Change it to your team. By default, it'll be empty. If you don't have a team there, just make sure you sign into your developer account by going up to Preferences and then going to Accounts and signing with your developer Apple ID. You should see your team below, which is again what you're going to use to sign this application and run it on your device. Once you have it signed, simply switch to your device up in the top. So I've got Android's iPhone, which is my iPhone, which is being used for development and signed with iOS 11, and then hit Run. It's going to go ahead and do a few things the first time you run it through, but once it gets running, it's going to install the application and launch it on your iPhone. Of course, it's great because you can actually disconnect it from your phone completely and use it standalone. You don't have to be tethered the entire time. So now that we have it installed on your device, what can you do with it? Well, it's really quite simple. Find a nice open space, whether desk, table, the floor, and hit that little plus button and choose whatever item you'd like to place on your environment. Apple has several ones built in here for you, like the candle, the lamp, the coffee cup, many really easy ones like that, and they automatically scale based on where they are. Of course, some things are a little bit weird. They still will overlap one another when they get close, but of course, they're not real objects, so that is to be expected. And of course, it is a little jittery depending on the surface that you're shooting on. While these are just normal household objects, this demo is still quite impressive. You can move them around and it'll easily track that service. You can pretty much move around your iPhone in 3D space away from these objects completely. And when you come back, they're still pretty much exactly where you left them. You can also add almost as many objects as you like. Just keep adding new ones through that list and they're still going to scale in the same. They're all going to have similar shadows displaying on your surfaces and you can get into as close as these objects as you want. Like this flower here, you can actually go inside of the petals and check out the inside of this flower. It's very intricate and very well done, especially for just a little demo application for people to play around with and get the idea of this for devs to actually start to use. You can't add any additional objects of your own. You basically just have the 3D objects that Apple has developed in this demo application, and there really aren't any settings to play around with. There are a couple toggle switches in the bottom right hand corner, allowing you to turn off and on the infinite planes and pinch to resize. In the top right hand corner is a little reset button. Simply so tap on that and everything will be removed from your scene and you can start adding objects again just straight from scratch. So we have basically a little coffee shop scene set up here. We've got our candles, we've got our food or, or a drink I guess in this matter. Of course we have a lamp there. We can also add a chair. It'll automatically detect the floor, ran itself correctly and even scale it to pretty much the correct size based on where it's supposed to be. Of course, this space is a little bit tight. I've got some stools in the way, so the you know the image isn't perfect, but it does a really, really good job of it. Let's take a look at a few of the other things that you can do in a couple different places using AR Kit. First up, we have a glass table, which is definitely a little bit harder to track, but it does so really, really well. I was honestly surprised at how well it was able to find that surface. Of course, it moves around a little bit more than it does on like that granite countertop because there's less objects for there's less you know permanence for the track because it is glass and it is clear so it's harder for it to keep in that same spot but it does a remarkable good job furniture is another great application of course i can put that next to my table oh how does that look it maybe gives you a good idea about buying something before you do it and speaking of let's take a look at some developer examples starting off with just that which is ikea you can actually see 3d versions of their furniture in your home before you pick it up Food Network also has a really cool one coming out that allows you to design things like cupcakes and cakes in 3D dimensions and try them out. 
Or how about Walking Dead, which has basically Pokemon Go, but with zombies that just come out at you from the bushes. And even popular things like the Little Hungry Caterpillar, where you can actually see come to life with the same design and artwork in real life, just in the grass. It is actually so cool. Obviously, ARK is coming out soon with iOS 11, and even on Android devices, you have AR Core, which was just announced and meant to replace Project Tango, so it's not hardware dependent. It's basically the same thing as AR Kit, but over on the Android side of things. So AR is about to take a big leap in the mainstream. So let us know what you think down below in the comments. Please go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.